I came to Sweden when I was 19 years old. I, I've run out of money actually. And uh, the only thing they can do in Sweden if you don't have a job is actually to pick up berries from the wood and sell it. And that's how I did my first living to be able to stay. I felt I want to do business, to buy and sell. I know what to do with my life now. I want to buy and sell. I was 20 years old and I just really felt it in all my body. We could borrow 5,000 euros from the bank. I went to Lebanon. I bought really everything which I felt that was a good price, from track suits to perfume to jeans to uh, makeup, and filled up a container, sent it to Sweden. And at that time, we had actually no space to live. So when we bought a container full of track suits, you had to move the bed away, put the mattress on the boxes, and sleep above the boxes actually. I knew nothing about anything and I just wanted to do some business. So when I was coming back from Lebanon, a friend of mine gave me five watches and he said, you know what, take these five watches, see if you can sell them. So it was the only thing I put in my pocket, I didn't know what it cost. And I sold two watches for 50 euro each. And um, I decided at that moment, this is, I'm gonna be the king of watches in, in this country. And uh, yeah, eventually I became. We are employing 1500 people. We're running around 260 stores nowadays. And we're growing, we're opening a lot of stores. We have planned to open at least 20, 25 stores every year in the future. When I was selling in the free market, I decided already then, my next car would be a Rolls Royce. It took me 35 years <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to achieve that dream, really. I wanted to buy a bespoke phantom. My theme is flowers and roses, and I wanted to have it everywhere. So at the end, we succeeded to make flowers everywhere in the car, in the doors, in the, yeah, in the ceiling, and the, the, the blue color from the outside was chosen from my daughter, Magnolia. She helped me to pick up that color, and I loved it. became an amazing piece of art and I will never, never, never sell this card.